friendly sentry gun on the way. Hostile RCXD spotted in your area. Friendly care package on the way. Yeah, fucking bot bitches. Your work is appreciated. Well done. Aim button. Aim yep. button. Aim button. Bitches for real, y'all. I ain't playing with these niggas. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to all you people out there in the gaming community. It is Lady Sinister here bringing you some aimbotting on Black Ops 1. Yes, you heard it here first, people. I was aimbotting on a four-year-old game. I mean, ludicrous. I mean, so obviously somebody had butt hurt, but I thought it was hilarious. So I, I thought I'd bring a little lighter note before I get into my serious topic of feminism. Now hold on guys, I know there's a lot of males in the gaming community, give me a chance here, I'm not going to go on some male hating bashing rant here, it's just in light of recent, I don't know what you would call it, but in recent views um, of how I've been judged on my behaviour as a woman, I thought I would do this commentary about what feminism and how a woman should behave in my view. So. To start off, I thought I'd give you guys some examples of some heroes of mine who happen to be women. Um, first of all, I want to say the most famous Celtic warrior in, uh, in England is Boudicca. Now, she single-handedly destroyed the Rome, Roman army. I mean, obviously, in a mistake of her own, she ended up being defeated. But at the time... Boudicca did something that no other male could do in in England at that time. She destroyed the Roman army and due to a stupid mistake, she would have ended up, you know, freeing the whole of England from the Roman Empire and probably destroying the Roman army in Britain. Now that was under a woman. Under, under Celtic rule, women were celebrated. Women were seen as huge warriors. We gave birth to life. Before science, people saw that what women did was amazing. Now we look down on it, but before science, before medical science, before we really knew what happened in biology, women were celebrated through the pain that they went through, the amazing changes that happened in our body to give birth to life. People actually celebrated that. Women were seen as equal to men and, you know, people with disabilities and elderly people were looked after. Everybody was seen as equal under the Celtic kind of um, pagan religion. Now, the other person I wanted to talk about was Elizabeth I. Now, Elizabeth was a strong queen. She's one, um, another famous per uh, woman in England. I mean, she defeated the Spanish Armada and was a great queen, was a celebrated queen. I mean, she brought England to a reign of peace and prosperity. The other queen that I wanted to talk about is Victoria. Now, Queen Victoria ruled half the world. The sun never set on the British Empire under Victoria's rule. Now, that was another woman. Now, for you people, who like to use the Bible against me, another person that is a, a hero of mine is Esther. Now, Esther used her looks, her charm, and how charismatic she was to break all male rule over her, to walk into the king's presence to implore him for her nation. And she ended up saving a nation from using what God gave her in, in, in her looks and um, body-wise to break convention and to walk into that to the king's presence and implore him to free a nation. Now, how fantastic is that? I mean, what a woman. Now, she used her looks to do this. 
but uh, her looks were only a part of the whole entire picture. The fact that she was a strong, independent woman, enough to risk death for her love for God and her nation, she broke convention. I mean, even in the 1940s, we had the suffragettes who fought for our right to vote. You had women in World War I and II who took over the workforce because the men were out fighting. The women did the job the men were doing. I mean, at the time, there were guys still at home who didn't like this. The women took over. They worked the fields. They worked the plows to keep England going during the World War II and to, to back their men. They took up arms in the field. And even in recent history, not that long ago, we had a young girl of 15 years old shot in the head because she dared to speak out about women having education. There are parts of this world where women can't even go out of the house without a man. Even if that male is three or four years old, she still cannot go out of that house without that man. This still happens in this day and age. Now, judge me all you want about how I behave as a woman. But all I want you to do is think about it. Just think and let it sink in how women should be viewed and how you should see a woman. And just women in general. It shouldn't be about your sex, your race, or your disability, or anything else. It should be about the fact that you're a human being. We should all judge each other for how we behave as human beings. Celebrate the differences between male and females, but do not put women back into a box. You know, where we are literally pushed down and discriminated against because we dare to come out of the male rule. In Western society in the 21st century, women should be independent, we should be equal to men, and we should be treated as such. Judge me for what I do and for what I say, not because I'm a woman. I can play video games just as much as a male can. I can play Call of Duty just as much as a man can. And the fact is, I can talk to whoever I want, just like a man can. There's no difference between a woman ogling at a half-naked woman than there is to a man. There is no difference. The fact that men can look at women and go, oh, she's got nice tits, she's got nice ass. Do you know, the fact that men can do that, women can do that too. It's about being equal. Society needs to change their thinking and stop judging women on what they do when men are out there doing the same thing. So think about that. That's all I ask. And uh, thank you guys for listening, if you've got this far in the commentary. And... Um, just celebrate women. That's all I ask. Women should be seen as the beautiful people that they really are. And that's where I'm going to leave my commentary. And again, thank you guys for listening. And um, I'm, I'm out of here. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. people out there drink. in the community. It is Lady Sinister bringing you some of my Minecraft. Uh, just showing you my world. This is my pool and my guest house. And just showing you what my world is. I think my